everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Rachel Beanie, which is the hat that you see here. It is worked in, uh, I've worked it in the Beautiful Landscapes yarn by Lion Brand, which is a worsted weight yarn. So you can use any worsted weight yarn that you choose. And uh, it's made using one of my new favorite stitches called the Seed Stitch. The hat is worked from the bottom up through to the top and uh, you're going to need only one ball of the landscapes yarn so about uh, 150 yards of a worsted weight yarn. Uh, you can see that there is also a scarf uh, coordinating scarf pattern which will be also available on my YouTube channel a few days after this video is published. You're also going to need a copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link will be there for you in the notes of this video. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook. And if you choose, you'll also need a pom-pom, either a faux fur one like the one I have here, or a, a yarn made one. And there's also tutorials uh, on here on my YouTube channel on how to make a pom-pom uh, using yarn and various tools. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, please, uh, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns, such as the one that you're going to see here, and uh, crochet stitch tutorials. So grab a hook and some yarn and a copy of your crochet pattern and meet me back here and we'll get started on this Rachel Beanie. As our beanie is started and worked from the bottom up, we're going to start by working the brim of our hat, which is worked in rows. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by making your slip knot. And then using your six millimeter crochet hook, you're going to start with a foundation chain of nine stitches. Now I like to make my brim using slip stitches. I find that it creates a fairly sturdy brim with lots of great stretch. Uh, but you can change these slip stitches to single crochets or half double crochets. Uh, it's really whatever you prefer and find easier when it comes to working the brim of your hat. So I will be using slip stitches for my brim and what you're going to start to do is you're going to start by counting into the second chain from your hook and that's where you're going to work your first slip stitch. So count in one, two, in that second chain from your hook, work your first slip stitch, and then slip stitch in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you will have eight slip stitches. At the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to continue working slip stitches, but from here on end, you're always going to be working in the back loop only. So when you look at the top of your work, you will see these, I'll take my hook out here, these V stitches. Your back loop only is the loop or the horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. So for me here, it's going to be the one here and behind and that is your back loop only. So this first stitch or what looks like a V here is my chain stitch. I'm not going to work in that. I'm going to begin in the first stitch and working into the back loop only I'm going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So you're only inserting your hook under one loop. So slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, once again, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Just like so. You're going to continue to repeat that. So slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. Uh, you're going to continue to repeat that until the band of your hat measures approximately 19 inches or the desired length 
um, or uh, of your band, however uh, wide you would like your circumference. I find a band of about 19 inches will stretch comfortably to about a 20 to 21 inch, inch circumference for your hat. Okay, so continue working that until your work from the beginning measures about 19 inches and you're going to come with, uh, you're going to create this beautiful ribbing that has quite a bit of stretch and it's just going to make a gorgeous band for your hat. Once you've worked that, meet me back here and we will start working the body of your hat. Okay, so once you have reached the desired length of the brim of your hat. You can see here, this has quite a bit of stretch. It's going to be, um, I think, just perfect. You're going to take the brim of your hat and you're going to bring these two short ends together. You don't need to fasten off. Then working along these short ends and through both pieces, you are going to slip stitch in the back loops only of each side all the way across and this is going to sew your ends together to make uh, to make it around okay so under the back loop only of the first one the back loop only of the second one and slip stitch in each all the way across Just like so. <laughs> this one is giving me a little bit of trouble there. There we go. And our final one, which is often tricky to find. There we go. Just like that. Once you have gone all the way across, you can chain one and you're going to turn the band right side out. So the seam is going to be on the inside now. You want to be working from the front. You're welcome to go ahead and weave in that end there if you would like. And now this is the band of our hat. Try it on at this point if you'd like. Make sure that it fits around and uh, that way you'll have a comfortable fit when you're finished. We're now going to start working the body of the hat. To start our foundation round, our round one, you're going to evenly work 52 half double crochet stitches all the way around. Okay, now there's no pretty places to put your hook. So if it helps, you can mark the halfway point and you'll put half of your stitches on this one side and then half of your stitches on the other side. But you want to have 52 half double crochet stitches all the way around. If you would like to change the number of stitches in this hat, so say you're making it smaller or larger, you're simply going to add or subtract multiples of two stitches, okay? So continue to do that. Work 52 half double crochet stitches all the way around. And then meet me back here and we will continue on to row two. Once you have worked your 52 half double crochet stitches all the way around, when you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For this hat, at the end of each round, you will chain one and turn your work, okay? Now we're going to start working the seed stitch pattern. To do so, we are going to start by working a single crochet into our first stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Single crochet followed by a double crochet stitch. Work that all the way around your hat and when you come to your first stitch, you are going to join with a slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. 
So single crochet followed by a double crochet. You should end each round uh, and this round in particular with a double crochet stitch. So at the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You are now going to continue working the seed stitch just as you did before. And you're going to do this uh, for the next 11 rounds. So this is rounds three through to 13. In the top of that first double crochet stitch, you're going to work a single crochet and then double crochet in the top of the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Single crochet followed by a double crochet. When you come around to the final stitch, it should be a double crochet that has worked in the top of that final single crochet stitch. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top, chain one, and turn your work. So you're going to do this uh, for a total of uh, 11 more rounds, you will have a total of 13 rounds, including your foundation round of half double crochet stitches. And uh, then after that, after round 13, we're going to start working our decrease rounds. Okay, so go ahead and work rounds 3 through to 13. You're simply repeating this single crochet, double crochet stitch pattern, and then meet me back here and we'll work our decrease rounds. Okay, so I'm now ready to begin round 14, and uh, your hats should look something like this. Now round 14 is the beginning of our decrease round, so we're going to shape the top of our hat. What you're going to do is you ha will have joined with a slip stitch in that first stitch and you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to uh, partially continue on with that seed stitch pattern but you're going to work it for the first six stitches. So in the first double crochet stitch you're going to work a single crochet followed by a double crochet and do that two more times. Single crochet, double crochet, one more time, a single crochet followed by a double crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet two together. So in, to work your single crochet two together, you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and draw through all three loops. That is your single crochet two together. You're now going to repeat single crochet in the next double crochet stitch and double crochet in the next single crochet and do that for a total um, of three times. So you'll have a total of six stitches all together. and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and when you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Round 15, we're going to continue our decrease stitches. You're going to start by working uh, a single crochet in the top of that next double crochet stitch, followed by a double crochet. You're going to do that one more time, single crochet and double crochet, and then single crochet in the top of the next stitch. You're then going to work your single crochet two together. So you'll have worked a total of five individual stitches followed by your single crochet two together. You're going to repeat that 
double crochet in the top of your single crochet stitch. You will always be working either a double crochet or a single crochet uh, into uh, the opposite stitch down below. So always a single crochet into a double and always a double into a single. Once you have worked your five stitches, single crochet two together. Then repeat that all the way around. Double crochet, single crochet, double, single, one more for your fifth, and then two together. Continue that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. For round 16, I have um, worked a chain one, and this time I'm going to start with a double crochet in my first because I ended with a single crochet two together. So I'm going to, in my previous round, so I'm going to start with a double crochet stitch followed by a single crochet. I'm going to repeat that once more, double crochet and single crochet, and then I will work a single crochet two together. So I'm working four stitches followed by a single crochet two together. Then I'm going to single crochet in the top of the next stitch followed by a double crochet. Repeat that, single crochet followed by a double crochet. And again, I'm just working the opposite. So if I have a single crochet down below, I'm working a double crochet in it. Okay, once you've worked your four stitches, you're going to single crochet two together. And then continue on. Single crochet, uh, sorry, double crochet in the next stitch, followed by single crochet. Work four stitches and a single crochet two together. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top, chain one, and turn your work. In round 17, I'm going to now be working uh, three stitches prior to working my single crochet two together. So I'm going to start off with a double crochet stitch here, followed by single crochet and double crochet, and then single crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around your work single crochet, always working the opposite stitch, and a single crochet, followed by a single crochet, two together. Now a double crochet, followed by a single crochet, double. Continue that all the way around your work. When you come to the end, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and uh, turn your uh, chain one and turn your work. For round 18, you can see that the top of your hat is uh, really getting smaller here. You're going to double crochet, or sorry, single crochet followed by a double crochet, so work two stitches, and then single crochet two together. Work two stitches, double crochet, and single crochet, and then single crochet two together. So continue that all the way around your work. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch chain one and turn your work. For round 19, you're going to double crochet in the first stitch and single crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Double crochet followed by a single crochet. When you come to uh, your first stitch there, you're once again going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch, 
chain one and turn your work. And now for your final round, round 20, you're going to simply single crochet two stitches together all the way around. Just like so. When you return to your first stitch, you will join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. You're then going to fasten off your work, leaving a fairly long tail. And then you're going to take that tail and you're going to use it to sew the top of your hat closed. So what I did was I just sort of uh, worked around the top of my hat, pulling that yarn in and out through the tops of those stitches, kind of making like a drawstring, if that makes sense. But you can sew the top of your hat closed however you would like. So I'm just pulling the yarn in and out. Of course, you can use a yarn needle to do this. And then once I went all the way around, I pulled it tight so that I could close that opening. Then using your yarn needle, you're going to sew the top closed um, and uh, weave in your ends. And then, of course, if you would like, uh, attach your pom-pom to the top. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the Rachel beanie. Be sure to check out the um, coordinating scarf pattern which will be available on my YouTube channel within a couple days of this video being released. And of course the free written crochet patterns are available on my blog. So thank you so much for joining me once again and don't forget, forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!